What is going on, comic fans? Welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark, and I'm here today with something I don't typically do, but because I'm going on vacation in less than 48 hours, I figured I would take this opportunity to just do an old-school unboxing video. I grabbed eight packages off the top of my mountain of mail that dates back to almost three years now. I'm terrible about opening mail, but I figured this would be a good chance to dive into some stuff and just do a fun video and see what some of the most recent stuff that I got in is. Don't go anywhere. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let's go. Be sure to check out BigTimeCollectibles.com as they sponsor the channel. They're always doing fantastic stuff. You can find them linked in the description as well as Justin's Comics. If you need anything cleaned or pressed, be sure to check him out as well. Let him know you found him via the channel. And a huge shout out to ABX Comics and Games, my local LCS. If you're looking for a spot to pick up your monthly subscriptions and get into tabletop gaming or any of the cool stuff like that, description, 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 description. So uh, I'm trying to think about how to do this. There's no way I'm going to sit here and make people suffer through eight packages of mail unboxing so i think i'm going to take take one at a time and just uh just cut to opening them this first one though is from the channel sponsor big time collectibles uh I, this one dates back uh to the beginning of last month and uh, i write on their little notes to try to remember what's in them and i didn't do that with all of them so the next couple i don't have so let's go ahead and pause for the calls and get into this all right we're into it I got it out of the package. It comes in these fantastic comic shields. These are the best mailers in the game for just a handful of comics. So get this bad boy open. Always with the stickers, which are awesome. It takes you to their their places and things. They're also on whatnot. I'll let you know about that. All right. So this is actually a bigger order. I like grouped some stuff together for this one. There's a certain one that I'm really hoping. It says Transformers on the package. So I'm hoping it's... It's a certain one. There's two of them that have come out that I've ordered. And I'm not sure which one's going to be in here. But uh, we have some really cool stuff that uh, was a C2E2 exclusive. This is a certificate of authenticity saying it's limited to 500 copies. The book is called Dawn Runner. It's issue number one. Beautiful variant by the man himself, John Jang. Wicked. Absolutely wicked. Next up, I got... Boom, Venom number 34. So if you watched my uh, monthly mystery box haul, you saw that I got the uh, the 500 limited print run for this. That was a different variation on this book, but we have the uh, purple background, which looks freaking sweet. And then you have like the moon background, which kind of matches the Spider-Man one that he did or the sun, the moon, whatever it is, the, the oval back there. But uh, those are super dope. So I have all three versions of that book now. And God, there's three more in this package. Here we go. There it is, Transformers number eight. This is the Soundwave cover. I was wondering if it was going to be a Soundwave or Devastator. There's a Screen Devastator cover that's absolutely wicked, but I don't think that one comes out till this week. So it'll it'll be shipping sometime this week. But yeah, that is, dude. John Jang just does Transformers like nobody's business. That is just absolutely amazing. Next up, just there we go. I missed this version of Ghost Rider Final Vengeance. I, I typically am an A cover guy, and I have this, this book on pool at my LCS, uh, of course, for A covers, for everything. But Mark Textera was doing these B covers, and I absolutely love his art. So I got the Textera variant for number one and put my A cover back. Uh, I was able to swap them out. Uh, number two, this one wasn't in shop. Then number three, I got the Textera cover. And then Helverine, yeah, Helverine issue one had a Textera cover. So I needed the hood as Ghost Rider to complete my four uh, four cover set. They did he did four variants, and then uh, that's it. But man, that is gorgeous. So yeah, that is just absolutely gorgeous. And last but not least, certificate of authenticity. This one's a Fan Expo Dallas exclusive, limited to only one hundred and fifty copies. Mortimer himself in the disputed uh, disputed Mortimer. This is the Ash Can edition by none other than the man himself, John Jang. This book has been getting a lot of traction with the retailers. It's been getting a lot of exclusives. A lot of fantastic artists have been working on it. And this is uh, my second one. I got I got one that Miko did, I believe, in one of the mystery boxes from Big Time Collectibles. But I, uh, I that one went on to a new home. But this John Jang one is staying in the PC forever. As y'all know, I'm a Jang Gang diehard completionist. Next package. 
This isn't a BTC one. This is from a place called Loop Comics. Loop Comics and Collectibles. This has got a shipping date of August 3rd, 2023. So I legitimately don't have a clue what this one is. All right, packing ship confirms that this was a mystery bag with a 10K ceiling that I uh, bought into back in August. Description, the floor was 20, the ceiling is 250, the average is 150, 317 total silver bags, bronze bags, whatever. It was a, a whatnot thing back when I was first dickering around with whatnot. So I uh, never heard of them. I don't remember the name of this person, so I'm assuming this is probably all going to be junk. One, two, three, four, five books, and it was a $50 bag. Let's see what was in here. I don't even know what this is. Coffin Comics, though. He's got retail sticker on here of eight forty nine, uh, La La Muerta, La Muerta, and yeah, wherever he got him from, the retail sticker at eight forty nine on there. Pretty cool cover, something that I don't typically see every day. Yes, the World Standard Edition. Not familiar at all with that. Not familiar. Let's see what else is in here. Yo, boom! That's actually a hit for me. Rob Liefeld's The Shield issue number one it has a sticker price of four forty nine on it, which uh, I've got this book. Uh, I got it when it came out. I got a copy signed by Liefeld. I have the Virgin copy chiseled by Liefeld. I love the shield. Love Liefeld. Next up, the box. Not even clue what, no clue what that is from Red Comics. Uh, so far, this is legitimately like three books, three dollars worth of comics. Lucky Devil, Dark Horse Comics. Colin Bunn. Colin Bunn's a very popular writer. Issue number two. Again, these are all just like back issue dollar bin books. The uh, last flight out. This when this first came out, it had a little bit of traction. This was a pretty entertaining read. I remember I picked it up. Uh, Mark Spector Comics had pointed out it was a series he was looking forward to reading that was coming out. Just a six issue miniseries, but it was uh, actually really good. I don't know if it had any kind of value. I think people were uh, rumoring about a possibility of it getting optioned back then, which we all know being optioned really doesn't mean anything, but it gets people excited. So that uh, that mystery box was absolutely worthless for its value. What a scam! But. Uh, Definitely some cool books. You can't deny they're cool books, but you can definitely argue the price on it because I don't. I wouldn't think I would have ever paid fifty dollars for a mystery box. I don't remember what I paid for this. Maybe it was twenty or something. Oh, I remember now. It says that I paid. Says that I paid one dollar for that. I remember this guy now because he said like if you just uh, you know, put it in there for a dollar and you can just buy it via the tipping feature on whatnot. And I uh, yeah, I paid twenty bucks for that thing which isn't all too bad, all things considered, for a gamble. But, uh, yeah, let's see. This next one is from East Side Comics. Now, that is a shop that I do frequent. They work with the homie often. You know, you got to support the homie. They always package fantastically, and this might be the last box we get into in this video, running out of time. So let's see what we got, and I know this one I'm looking forward to showing. Ooh, we issue number 52, The Amazing Spider-Man Limited to 600 copies this is number 73 of 600 look at that jang gang goodness right there crawling down the webs in the hands the pink trade dress looks fantastic that is glorious holy potatoes that's nice right there that's nice right there dude that is fantastic super dope yeah so we're past eight minutes right now i don't want to keep everybody that was a lot of books i got through some of them how many i get through I got through half of them, so that's half. Maybe I'll save a half and record another video. Again, I'm going on vacation this coming Friday, so my schedule might be a little different. I can confirm that at Weeks In, my premiere live stream that I do on Sunday nights at 8.30 uh, should go as planned. Co-host Sector 2815 will uh, be there, and if I'm not there, I'll definitely get somebody to stand in for me. I appreciate everybody that hangs out, comments, subscribes, watches, all that stuff. Be sure to hit that join button. Consider becoming a channel member, and until next time, as always, I'm Mark, but we... Our legion.